The third fruit is P.E. <laughs> oh, yep. So, in these go. Oh, I forgot the challenge. No. Hey guys, happy Taco Tuesday. Today I'm in my lovely kitchen because we are going to be doing a live demonstration of preparing a fruit salad while talking about the Lord. Today's video is inspired by Galatians 5 verse 22 to 23, which says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. So instead of just talking about the fruits of the Spirit, I thought I'd do a visual aid for all of you who are visual learners like myself. After each physical fruit that I introduce, I will then give you a challenge to practice the spiritual fruit that that fruit stands for. So stay tuned as we create the most spiritual fruit salad of all time. And we are ready to go. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun, I love fruit. The first fruit is love represented by the strawberry. The reason I picked a strawberry is because they're red just like a heart is and they also, I mean, when they're not cut up, they kind of look like a heart at the top. This one is super important because God is love. So if we want to be more like Jesus, we have to have more love in our lives. So my challenge to you for this one is to go out of your way to show someone some love that you wouldn't normally show love to. You can text them, DM them, even send them some mail just to check in on them and see how they're doing. We all need a little more love in our lives. In they go. The second fruit is joy, represented by the pineapple. Joy is such a sweet feeling, and that's just how pineapple tastes. Also, I don't know if you guys get that tingly feeling after eating a lot of pineapple, but I definitely do, and I know that joy leaves that same lasting impression in people's lives. So my challenge for you is to create a joy jar. You can do this by sending joy jars into the organization Joy Jars, which I will link in the description box below. They make jars for children who are trying to survive cancer and it's an incredible organization that you should definitely look into being a part of. You can also make your own joy jars at home and send them out to your friends. Fill the jars with favorite memories, inside jokes, anything to brighten their day. In these go. The third fruit is peace, which is represented by blueberries. The reason I picked blueberries is because blueberries are blue and the sky is blue and I want you to imagine a beautiful blue sky. I think that's pretty peaceful. Challenge number three is to sit outside underneath the blue sky and journal or reflect for a little bit. I know reflection gives me a lot of peace when things in my life are anything but peaceful. In they go. The next fruit is forbearance, which is going to be represented by a pear because of forbearance. <laughs> yup. Forbearance in some other biblical translations is also known as long-suffering or patience. So for challenge four, I really want you to just give your worries to God and ask Him to open up your heart. The reason for this is because long-suffering, it implies that you've been going through a long time of suffering. And you probably need some more patience in your life to get through the suffering. So I want you to pray and give your anxieties to God so He can hopefully be there with you in this moment. And maybe he's trying to show you something, but you're too busy worrying to see what he's trying to teach you or show you. Or maybe he's not ready to show you the answer quite yet. So for this one, prayer is definitely my tip, my challenge for this one. In they go. The next fruit of the spirit is kindness, which is represented by the kiwi. Now it's really cool about a kiwi, and this one's kind of cut on the side, but What's really interesting about the kiwi is that it's all brown on the outside, but when you cut into the inside, it's beautiful. Much like how kindness is when you have kindness in your soul. The inside is what makes this a beautiful fruit. Look at that. So for challenge five, I want you to seek a need and fulfill it. Whether that's volunteering at a food pantry or doing the dishes in your household. Kindness goes a long way. In they go. The next fruit is goodness, represented by the blackberry. Now, besides the fact that blackberries are so good, they also leave a colorful stain on your fingers after you're done handling them. 
So I wanted to make this an analogy against goodness because goodness, when handled and given to other people, it also colors their lives and stains their fingers. And we want our fingers stained with goodness, not blackberry juice. You get the idea. So for this challenge, it's more of a fun one for all you artists out there. I want you to draw, color, paint a picture for a friend and send it to them and let them know you're thinking about them. All right, in these go. The next fruit of the spirit is faithfulness represented by the apple. The reason for this is the apple is a classic. You can't go wrong without it. In the same way, we can't go wrong with faithfulness in our walk with God. And in the same way, an apple a day keeps the doctor away, a scripture a day keeps the devil away. Staying faithful in your walk with God is so important and such a classic Christian move. So with this one, your challenge is to share your faith with three people this week, which is another classic Christian move. I mean, testimonies are one of the easiest ways to share your faith with someone. And it doesn't have to be a whole testimony. It could even just be you're sharing something that God's done for you this week. Here we go. The next fruit of the spirit is gentleness represented by the banana. So I kind of want to relate this to the whole idea that gentleness can sometimes be seen as a weakness, but it's actually a huge strength. In the same way that a banana might look not that great tasting because it's got those brown marks all over it, the most gentle part of the banana is the sweetest spot and super delicious. So your challenge for this one is to call up an old friend and just listen to how they're doing. The reason I say old friend is because I'm sure we all have that friend that we meant to call back a week later and then a week turned into a few months and then a few months turned into a few years and it's not like you don't love that person, it's just life got the best of us. So my challenge to you is to call up that old friend and be gentle and listen to how they're doing. In these go. There's still banana at the... The final fruit of the spirit is self-control represented by the grapefruit. So the reason I picked grapefruit is because when you eat it, you have to have the self-control not to make the puckered up face. In the same way with self-control, it could sometimes be kind of hard to start doing it, but once we ease into it, it's smooth riding and I feel the same way when I'm eating a grapefruit. Bitter at first and then sweet. So for challenge number nine, I want you to take up a new healthy habit starting this week. This could be anywhere from going on a run, going on a walk, eating right, going to bed earlier. And the reason I said healthy habit is because it requires self-control to start and maintain a habit. So with that final fruit, in it goes. <laughs> all right, now that we got our fruits, let's mix it all together. I think these are salad tossers. I could be wrong. This is gonna be whack. Can't wait to eat it. Oh, and the bananas are smashed. <laughs> bon appetit. Guys, look at how colorful and bright this is. God wants us to be just like this bowl. Vibrant, full of layers, full of life, super colorful and pleasing to the soul. So think of yourself as a bowl just waiting to have fruit inside. Sure, you could have one fruit in a bowl and that's pretty to look at, but the more fruits you add into your bowl, the more beautiful it's gonna end up becoming. This same idea applies to the fruits of the spirit. The more that you have in your heart, the more beautiful you'll be. All right, guys, that is all I have for you today. Please let me know in the comments down below if you take on any of the challenges that I offered up. I cannot wait to eat this fruit salad. The wiggles are quaking. Also, guys, um, if you do take on any of these challenges, make sure to put hashtag fruit salad in Christ, as my boyfriend always likes to say. And um, put any prayer requests down there as well if you want me to pray for you. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at mygodmoments for more Jesus in your feed. And subscribe if you want to see more content. I post every Taco Tuesday. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next Taco Tuesday. ASMR.